everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. This week I am featuring the Lighthouse Point Bundle from the 2022-2023 Annual Stampin' Up! Catalog. This is a fantastic bundle. You can make lighthouses two ways, either with the dies or with the stamps. And we're going to use the stamps for this card today. I have another card on my blog that uses um, the dies, so make sure you click the link on YouTube and hop back over to my blog. All right, I think the first thing that we're going to do is ink up our circle. I have done, I have already cut out a basic white um, a stylus shape circle and we're going to use balmy blue and night of navy to ink it up. We're going to start with that balmy blue and I'm just going to kind of do one end like this or one half. Okay and I'm going to switch over to the navy. Now navy is much darker so you want to kind of start light. See how I'm just kind of blending. My my idea was to go from the water to the sky. Okay, now I'm going to come back over here with this. And you can just use your blending brushes to blend as much or as little as you would like. Okay, I think that's good. Now I wanted to add a little more... Um, texture. So I'm going to take my Knight of Navy Stamp and Blend, the brush end tip, and just splatter on some, I don't know, some splatters. Okay, so now the other thing we need to stamp, let's do that, is our sentiment. We're going to put that down here on this end. This is Cherry Cobbler. And then we need to stamp our lighthouse. We're going to use Crumb Cake and Soft Suede. And we're going to use the Stamparatus. I just find that two-step stamping is so much easier when you use your Stamparatus. So put your basic white piece on your Stamparatus and lay your magnets down. And then we're going to grab that solid piece and we'll put that right there. Actually, we'll put that right here because we're going to need to cut a circle out of the center of this piece as well. Let's see, are we going to be able to fit our circle? think so. Maybe. We'll see. We may need to get another piece. All right, so lay that down and pick it up. And we're going to do crumb cake. And we'll lay that down. See how that looks? Very nice. And then we're going to take our soft suede and this piece right here. Let's line the stripes up. Actually, you've got this, this um, ledge up here at the top that'll help you line it up exactly where you need it. And then pick that up. Soft suede. There we go, very nice. All right, for the light coming out of those windows, I'm just gonna use my So Saffron Stamp and Blend. Color those in. Okay, now let's close all of our ink pads and bring over our cut and emboss machine. We've got quite a bit to cut out here. So we're going to make kind of a window. I was kind of thinking, you know, like a porthole on a ship. So we're going to cut that out and we're going to cut a ring. We're going to use two dies to cut a ring from this basic white. Now see this little dot right here? You wanna make sure you get that lined up. You'll see the, the stamped image right there. So just get that lined up. There we go. And then this one is the label. Right there. And that circle, let's see if we can get that circle in there. Oh yeah, it's gonna fit. Boy, I did good, didn't I? So these are the two largest stylus shaped circles, and we're going to create a ring. Very carefully, lay your plate down and let it through. There's our ring. And our lighthouse and our sentiment. 
Now we've got one more, two more things to cut out. I'm gonna create a circle of adhesive using my adhesive, my foam adhesive sheet and those circles doing the exact same thing. And then we're gonna cut out also the little light for our lighthouse. Okay. Let's see, there we go. And let's look at that adhesive. There we go, perfect. Okay, we are ready to put our card together. And I have got a Knight of Navy card base. Now I used the Navy Designer Series paper from the uh, Neutrals paper pack, but I'm out of that paper. There's only four sheets of each color. So I'm out. So I pulled some other pieces that we could use. Um, I thought this was really pretty um, and this one as well. So I'm going to, I think I'm gonna use this one. This is so pretty. This is called, hold on, let me give you the name. This is called, uh, if I can find it on my list, there's a supply list that looks like this. If you click the link over and go over to my um, blog, it's the Brushstroke Specialty Paper. It's really pretty. So I'm gonna add some of that splatter to that as well, just to give a little more interest, okay? And this is the um, Sun Prince Designer Series paper. Either one will work. All right, now we're gonna put this on our card base. Hopefully you can see the texture on that designer series paper. It has a little bit of shimmer on it. Okay, now we've got our foam adhesive ring. So we're gonna take off the backing and lay our cardstock circle on that. Okay, and then peel the backing off of that. This is how you make a shaker card. Um, if you wanted to make this a shaker, then you would add um, a, a window sheet on there first. But we're just gonna add, we're just making some dimension here. Make it look kind of like a porthole. All right, so now we'll put adhesive on the back of that. All right, we're gonna take our, um, our lighthouse and put, I think I'm gonna add dimensionals. Let's see if this works. Dimensionals about right there. And we're gonna put that on the ring part. I'm gonna grab some glue. Let's see, it's been a few weeks since I made a video. I wonder if my glue is gonna work. Yep, it worked. And I put quite a bit of glue on there. Let's see if I can do this without making a mess. Put that right there. And then our sentiment, I think we will put, we'll put adhesive on this side. Since we put a dimensional here, we'll put a dimensional on the other side. And then it'll be flat against the, flat against the lighthouse. There we go. Okay, last but not least, let's add some stars in the sky with our take your pick tool. These are rhinestones, make perfect little stars. Whoops, let's see if we can get that. Use your putty end of your take your pick tool. And if I can get my putty to fall in line and do what it's supposed to do, <laughs> add a few to your card. All right, there you go. Now looking at these, I don't know, I think my favorite is still the stripes. Gives you that kind of nautical feel, but this kind of gives you the night sky look. So, you know, whichever you think looks best, give it a try. All right, click that link, hop over to my blog, and make sure you get that free PDF and check out my other two Lighthouse Point projects. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.